Hello everyone, I'm going to make some tire chocks tonight. You're going to have to stay tuned to see what we're using them for. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I've got some old 4x4 pressure treated posts. Got a 45 degree miter on it. And then I'll bring it out here and stuff it under this tire. And then get a distance to come to this tire for the next cut. Okay, so that block's cut at, uh, from long to long, 17 and a quarter. That leaves me about a quarter inch on each side. So I think I'm going to go with that, because if I go any tighter, it might be a real struggle. On, you know, if I'm parked on gravel or, or some, you know, a spot like that. So we're going to leave it. 17 and a quarter. So now I'm going to cut one more block. This this measurement. Need to cut a piece approximately 10 and 3 quarter. Okay? And then we're gonna, I'm going to fasten those together. All right, we've got the blocks cut. Okay? They are seven inches high these are four by fours so they're actually three and a half by three and a half inches so let's go see how they work before i glue them all together all right i think that looks really good so i'm going to glue them and screw them together and if this unit ever moves with these blocks in there then like i said before we've got we've got issues somewhere else but I got this um, tube of PL 400, so you can use it inside, outside, stone, everything. Um, so I've probably had this tube for at least five years, so I want to see if it's even still good. And while while I'm at it, you'll need a big caulking gun for these big tubes. Even small caulking gun, spend the extra few bucks and get one with the um, spout cutter. It's just got a little knife plate in there. Okay, and then the uh, the rod here to clean out to poke the the foil that's inside those tubes. Okay. All right, I got the foil punctured, and let's see what comes out of this. And look at that. It looks like uh, the day it was manufactured, processed, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to put a couple of nice beads on there. And we'll put another couple of beads on this, this uh, setup here, okay? Because over time, your, your fasteners do become loose. Uh, Especially nails. So this stuff is great for um, holding things together. You basically, it, you basically got to destroy the material to get it apart. When I'm done gluing and I still have a old tube like that, I just put a screw in in the end of that. And what that does is it seals this tube off. As the glue starts skinning over and uh, it makes it quite easy to okay so what happens is this this skins over and it creates like a plug about a quarter inch long dry plug and then all you do is you grab this and pull it out and you get good glue again all right so I'm gonna put this together and since this wood is so old, I'm going to have to um, pre-drill these screw holes here. Okay, I'm going to put four 3-inch um, coated screws. Now, these are specifically for pressure-treated lumber, okay? Because if you just use regular screws, the chemical in this um, pressure-treated lumber actually start corroding your your fasteners so you got to make sure you use the proper fasteners 
in uh, in all your projects, okay? Let's go see how they fit. All right, there it is. Glued, screwed, all put together. Okay. It's not super tight, but it's gonna stop this unit from going back and forth. Anyhow, hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more awesome videos this year.